Hello everyone, this is Satya Saran Misra, Assistant Professor, Department of Entomology at UP College, Varanasi. Based on the recommendations from the college, I am going to prepare a video, a lecture. So my first lecture is on types of larvae and pupae. So what is larva? So larva is the second stage, stage of the endoterigotan insects. Uh, larva uh, after hatching the larva emerges from the eggs this larva is actually differ uh, from the adults in all the respects and feeding or uh, morphologically all in all the respects they are uh, different from their adults so this immature stages of endoterigotan insects is known as a larvae however the immature stages of exoterigotan insects is known as nymph Nymphs uh, look like uh, adults in all respects uh, except they are smaller in size uh, without the eggs and uh, uh, without the functional reproductive organs. So this larva in different orders is known by different names like in case of Lepidoptera the larvae is known as caterpillar. However in Coleoptera and Hamnoptera this larvae is known as graph and in case of Diptera this larvae is known as maggot. Uh, then coming to the pupa, pupa is the next Third stage after the larvae and it is the intermediate stage between the larvae and adult of pleurally it is known as uh, pupae. Uh, so it is uh, non-active, non-feeding, uh, inactive stage but it is uh, active inwardly, inactive outwardly. Uh, it has a protective covering over its body uh, that is, looks like a capsule. All the developments that is required for adults is uh, being held uh, inside this uh, pupae only and the pupa of uh, different insects is also known by different names like it's um, uh, moth pupa is known as cocoon like silkworm cocoon uh, butterfly pupa that is naked or bare is known as chrysalis however mosquito pupa that is uh, active pupa that can swim is known as tumbler <coughs> then coming to the types of larvae first is protopolar Protopal larvae, you can see here this uh, type of larvae, they have less egg yolk content in their uh, eggs, so they hatch out early in the embryonic stage only. And uh, the segmentation you can see here in the head region and abdominal region is uh, not um, well distinct. Uh, and the thoracic appendages are undeveloped, they are not fully developed, so this is the protopal larvae. And this type of larvae is found in case of larvae of endoparasitic Hamnoptera. Then coming to the second type that is oligopal larvae. They are characterized by well-developed thoracic legs, head capsule, but they have no any abdominal legs or pseudo legs. They are further classified into compadei form and scravidae form. So this you can see, uh, this is the compadei form larva. This is uh, named after the Compodia genus. They look like Compodia genus of Diplura. The larvae are elongated or somewhat fusiform. Uh, the body is depressed. You can see here, bell is sclerotized. They possess well uh, uh, developed uh, longer thoracic legs and usually a pair of terminal abdominal sursi that is known as sursi. Uh, this type of compadei form larva is found in case of uh, ladybird beetles and lace wings. Uh, they are uh, very active larvae and they are predators on a small insect like uh, aphids, scales, etc. Then uh, second is scravy form larvae. This is, uh, you can see here, flacy, stout and C-shaped you might have seen. This is the larvae of uh, white grub. This is C-shaped, uh, they have salt, uh, thoracic legs without any abdominal legs. Uh, and uh, <coughs> the uh, terminal surface and they are active but they are sluggish. For example, in case of white grub larvae and uh, rhinoceros larvae. Then uh, third type is polypod larvae. Poly means many pod means feeds. So this type of larvae have many legs. Uh, in addition to thoracic legs, they also have abdominal legs that uh, uh, are known as pseudo legs or false legs. This type of larva is also known as uruciform larvae. Uh, so you can see here uh, they possess a well defined segmentation of the body uh, with three pairs of thoracic legs and two to five pairs of abdominal legs. 
they are present on six, uh, third to tenth abdominal segment to hold the abdomen. The pseudo legs or abdominal legs are present, and they are phytophagous and they are actual uh, pest of our crops. Uh, in this type, <coughs> first is hairy caterpillar. So this hairy caterpillar is a group. Uh, these caterpillars, uh, their body, they have dense hairs. Uh, they may cause irritation when you are going to touch because they secrete some poisonous chemicals uh, and uh, they are found this is actually a group like Bihar hairy caterpillar, red hairy caterpillar, Gujarat hairy caterpillar etc. <coughs> Sorry then coming to the second uh, polypon larvae, second type polypon larvae that is uh, slug caterpillar you might have seen this type of uh, caterpillar and castor and other plants uh, so this type of caterpillar they have uh, <coughs> uh, these are the these are hair like structures are called scudi so uh, from which these scudi they secrete some poisonous secretions uh, when you are going to touch these uh, secretions from this scudi may cause irritation uh, in your skin but this irritation is subsidized after washing uh, so you can see here larval head is small and retectile, thoracic legs are minute and abdominal legs are completely absent. Uh, so these are scully and this type of larva is also called as platyform larvae. Uh, you might have heard 3-4 uh, months back uh, there was a fake news spreading over uh, social media that due to whiting of uh, this uh, caterpillar people are dying that news was from the in Karnataka. So that was a fake news. Uh, due to this is coolie, yeah, you may feel some irritation, uh, but you are not going to die. And this may be subsidized uh, after washing from the uh, cold water. Then third type is semi looper. Semi looper, they have six pair of uh, legs. Total legs, three pair, that is true legs that are present on thorax and three on abdomen. So the uh, abdominal uh, pseudo legs are present on fifth, sixth and tenth abdominal segment you might have seen they are making a small loop as they are called as semi looper example uh, caster semi looper then coming to the looper they form uh, a big larger loop hence they are called as looper they are also known as measuring worm or earth measurers inch inch worm uh, and they are coming in the family geometry <coughs> They have only five pair of total legs, uh, three pair of uh, three pair of true uh, legs that are on the thorax, and uh, two pair of uh, pseudo legs that are on the sixth and tenth abdominal segment. For example, dancha looper. Coming to the A podus larvae, A means absent, podus means feeds. So here in this type of larvae, legs are completely absent. Abdominal legs are not present and on the place of thoracic legs, they have sensory uh, sensory papillae through which they can sense the environment. They are usually derived from the oligotype, uh, oligopod type of larvae. Uh, coming to the another type of uh, classification based on the degree of development of the head capsule. So, first type is eucephalus. U means true, cephalus means head capsule. So, eucephalus type of larvae have well developed or well sclerotized head capsule, for example, in case of mosquito larvae. Then, coming to the hemicephalus, hemi means half, cephalus means head capsule. So, in this type of larvae, the head capsule is uh, partially developed, for example, rubber flies. And uh, third is A cephalus. A means absent. Cephalus means head capsule. So here the head capsule is completely absent and the mouth parts are represented by uh, mouth hooks. For example, in case of true flies, that is mouse flies. So you can see here this is uh, eucephalus type of larvae. Uh, this is the head capsule, well developed head capsule. And hemicephalus, you can see the partially developed head capsule. And in a, uh, a cephalus, the head capsule uh, is completely absent. You can see here, uh, these are the mouth parts uh, that are represented by mouth hooks. So this is all about the uh, types of larvae. Then coming to the pupae. Pupae is the third stage in the development of uh, uh, endoderigotan insects. It is an inactive stage outwardly, but it is active inwardly. They are incapable of feeding, barking, etc. But all the uh, developments that are required for an adult, they uh, being held inside this pupae only. Uh, they are inactive, but in uh, some circumstances, they can crawl or move, like in case of a feed line and white grub pupa.
and they can also swim in case of mosquitoes mosquito fever it is tumbler pupation can be occur in this soil in case of helicover parmigera this is the pupil cover parmigera on the fallen leaves are on the plant surface in case of leaves on cervolaris brinjal fruit and fruit borer and inside this silken webs that is uh, bombyx mori this is the cocoon of silk worm then coming to the uh, types of pupils first classification is based on presence or absence of powerful mandibles so first is decticus decticus uh, type of pupae they have well developed well strong mandibles and the pupae is keep out or break down the cocoon uh, with the help of these strong uh, mandibles and uh, coming out from the pupae and this type of pupae is found in case of aphid lions you can see here aphid lions they have decticus type of pupae they are they can break this uh, pupa with the help of uh, mandibles then second is a decticus a means absent decticus means teeth are mandibles uh, in this uh, in this type the mandibles are completely abs absent and the ad adult escape out from the pupa with the help of uh, other appendages or chemicals for example in case of mosquito butterflies and moth pupa next uh, is the base the next classification is the based on the attachment of the appendages so first is exerate you can see here in case of exerate type of pupa the all the appendages like legs wings and tini are not glued or attached to the body they are free to the body and they can move also they can move also so this type of pupa is known as exerate pupa and this is found in coleoptera that is beetles and beetles second is optic type of pupa in this type of pupa all the appendages like wings and legs are formally attached or glued to the body they are not free so this type of pupa is actually found in case of moths then coming to the corrected type of pupa this type of pupa is found in house flies the last larval skin uh, is actually uh, function as a pupa and this type of pupa is actually known as piparium so this type of uh, pupa is found in house flies then the fourth type of pupa is chrysalis so this type of pupa is actually naked and is found in butterflies butterfly pupa is actually known as chrysalis and moth pupa is known as carpu uh, so <clears throat> this type of pupa this is attached to the substratum with the help of uh, silk silken thread that is known as gridel then there is a hook known as cream master and inside the pupa lower side is the head with the middle thorax and in the upper side is uh, abdomen so this is all about the uh, types of pp and larvae if you have any doubts uh, you can comment below i will be try to solve your problems thank you very much